Issue 14, Hachette Stormbringer. A sure shot with the Manskewer Bolt Boys. Hello and welcome to The Lucky Roll, an eclectic channel for eclectic games, and today we're going to be reviewing issue 14 of Heshek Collection's Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer magazine. Now in this issue you get three Manskewer Bolt Boys. Um, it's also an interesting issue because it goes into a little bit more on the forces of destruction. So we get to see what are called the Ogor Maw tribes, which essentially are ogres, but what's interesting about them is they are constantly hungry. So there's something here called the Endless Feast, and they're basically their entire culture is centered around eating so if you have a big fat gut like myself it's a sign of status and it also means you have the strength to eat those that stand in your way so um, the ogres are interesting little uh, uh, types you've got the gut buster ogres you've got the beast claw ogres and you've got the ravenous processions so um, basically they have different allies and different beasts that assist them you also have of course the Stormcast Eternals have their own alliances. So you have things like the Dracots, which are kind of beasts from the uh, the realm of heavens that has mag many magical creatures that the Stormcast Eternals use to ride into battle. But it's not just beasts that help them. You also have the Lumineth, which uh, basically depend on the Stormcast Eternals to help them cleanse their, uh, their home from corruption. You have the uh, Reptilian Seraphon, which basically have always been allies of Sigmar, and they are divine, they're charged with the divine light of the stars in order to kind of bring order to chaos. You have the dwarves with the, uh, the old oats restored, so it allows an awful lot of these guys, the, of the Frey Slayers, to um, regain their lost honor because there's many more uh, opportunities for battle. You have the oceans as well, where the Ideneth Deepkin have uh, helped the Stormcast Eternals on the sea, and you have, of course, the Daughters of Cain, who are uh, questionable allies, uh, and in the sense that they're aspects of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Uh, they just happen to hate chaos more than they hate the forces of order. You also have here um, some details on the Manskewer Bolt Boys. Uh, you also have the How to Build Guide, which covers a few pages, and you have the How to Paint Guide, which, uh, again, covers a couple of pages because you do have the paints now. Um, there's also an interesting thing here in the sense that you get to use the pot grot for uh, your battle this turn. So um, an interesting little aspect of bringing more kind of shenanigans and fun in the actual game into the rules for you. And uh, let's have a quick look here at what you actually get in the magazine. Now these minis were actually, they are quite fun to make and paint. They look great. I'm very happy with the sculpt and the way they come out but uh, they are a little bitty so I would be careful with them there is quite a lot to them so uh, they are of course basically these are huge massive scary crossbows with an actual dagger in the front so they can be used as kind of spears and lances at the same time but uh, they are again just stunning models you know I mean the details that Games Workshop put into these Oruks are just quite frankly fantastic and they're great fun to paint but again they uh, do need to be a little bit careful in putting these together because they are a little bit bitty anything that's kind of spiky uh, is also something that'll snap if you don't clip it off the sprue carefully enough but nevertheless I mean you can see that there's great life in these because this guy of course has already shot his load so the the bowstring has gone um, slack, whereas the bowstring here is taut because he is literally lining up a shot. And he has, of course, a huge quiver of bows here at the side that are just basically hanging on. And, of course, you have the leader as well here. So, again, this is why the people at Games Workshop are so good at their jobs, because you've had one where he's aiming to shoot, one where the shot has gone, and another one who is quite literally just reloading the shot as he go. He's obviously the section leader as well, because um, I loved this little thing here, because it gives the idea of kind of skin. Basically, it's just flayed skin taken from one of their opponents and is used as a banner to signify the section leader but uh, again you know they're they're bowmen but they've given great life and great kind of variety in them in the the way they in the way they're put together and the way the opportunities you have to paint with it 
and uh, just kind of the way that they stand and look in the battlefield. So these are the three bolt skewer boys that you get in um, Age of Sigmar uh, issue 14. So as always, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And until next time, good luck, God bless and stay safe.